The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are moving. Yes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, guys, this is a big deal. Moving to a new pad. And joining me live from London is our own correspondent, Rachel McGrady, to break everything down about this new up and up, the new home, the new pad. Moving on up, it's a question mark. Rach, okay. Thank you so much for being here. So everyone is talking about this because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moving away from Prince William and Kate Middleton. The question is, what does it mean? But first, let's talk about where they're moving. Uh, where had they lived? I believe Kensington Palace. And where are they moving to now? Yes, Lauren. So um, they originally lived in Nottingham Cottage on Kensington Palace grounds, um, which was a rather small little cottage for them. And now they are moving over to Windsor, where, of course, they got married last May. Um, and they're going to the Frogmore Cottage, uh, which we um, saw that they had their wedding party after the wedding itself that night um, on the Frogmore Estate. And they also took their wedding engagement photos there um, back last fall. So a very special place for them and also a very practical choice for them because it's uh, a larger space for their expanding family as she's expecting a baby this spring. Well, I love how we call it a cottage, Rach, and maybe if we can pull up those photos again, because cottage has a whole other definition for the royal family. Yes, I remember this, Frogmore House. You and I were actually driving around Windsor when we were reporting for the royal wedding and trying to find this because we knew that the, <laughs> the after party was going to be here, and we were trying to get a glimpse and see if we could see some of the attendees. Uh, so this is where they had the after party, like you said, a special place, but... I, is that really the reason bigger, more space for their expanding family? I mean, Kensington Palace is pretty spacious. Um, there are rumors about if something else is afoot here. What do we know about the relationship between Harry and Meghan, Will and Kate? Because what some people are saying is that growing tension between the two couples meant Harry and Meghan wanted to move further away from them. Yes, yeah, so we have a royal source who's spoken with E.T. about it, saying that there is a bit of tension uh, between the Fab Four, tragically, um, but it's not really quite as dramatic as it may seem. Um, Harry and William, of course, have their own separate duties to attend to in the upcoming years. William in line to the throne, um, and Harry with his focus on the Invictus schemes, HIV awareness, mental health. So um, they're kind of leading separate lives. Uh, but we have been told that Kate and Megan have um, kind of handled things differently and um, sort of have different focuses. Uh, so they are a little bit more separate and probably don't want to be roommates <laughs> quite as much uh, over at Kensington Palace. Um, of course, Megan is known for kind of speaking out about her feminist um, attitude towards being a duchess and also women's empowerment. Kate has very focused on uh, children's charities, being a mother of three herself. Um, but we have been told that though there is a bit of tension, that is not the reason for the move. Uh, the couple needs this 10 bedroom uh, cottage, as you mentioned, uh, for their nursery. And also there's space for a gym and a yoga studio and all that kind of stuff. So obviously Megan, who has called yoga her escape in the past, is going to want to take advantage of that. Well, right. That's the thing. I mean, she can't just go to a yoga class like the rest of us. And also, I know that we know her mother. We'd gotten reporting that her mom, um, who lives here in the U.S., of course, has been wanting to spend more time in London, especially as she becomes a grandmother. So more space for her mom. Now, look, I feel like we're dancing around it a little bit, Rach. I mean, I don't want there to be tension between Harry and Meghan and Will and Kate. But I will also say... How could there not be when you spend that much time together? You go to all these royal engagements together. You live on the same grounds. Like maybe this, you know, we don't need an everybody loves Raymond situation. Maybe they need a little space. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the boys went to school separately. Um, they act, they though they grew up publicly in the spotlight together. They weren't actually together quite that often growing up. So they're close in that the family is close. And when you're a royal, you kind of have to lean on each other. But they're not like the best of pals or anything like that. So I think it makes sense for them now that uh, Harry is starting his own family to kind of branch off and do their own thing and have their own space. And Windsor is only 45 minutes away from London driving. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of the Fab Four coming up. Okay, well, I know. I mean, we know they're close. They're cute together. I remember Will making that joke about how now that Harry was getting married, he wouldn't come over to raid his refrigerator anymore. So you know what? Now Harry's getting a refrigerator all his own in Windsor. Rach, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks, Lauren.